All right, a good uh, Tuesday evening out there to everybody. This is the kind of weather forecast that uh, you really want to hear about, especially as we're several days deep into October. Things can start to turn around this time of year, depending on what year you're in and what pattern you're in. If you recall last year, of course, it wasn't this early, but uh, a few weeks later than where we are right now in uh, 2019. Yeah, we were getting ready to fall off the cliff with the temperatures, if you recall, uh, right around Halloween, <laughs> that first week of November, I think we got plastered with snow so it can happen just several weeks down the line we're not there yet though and we've got a warm uh, series of days that uh, is unfolding right before our eyes water temperatures running from the mid 50s muskegon to uh, grand haven and then you get into the lower 60s with the water temps holland saga tuck and south haven but uh, stay out of the waters here folks today and tomorrow we've still got a high beach hazard risk for wednesday even though the waves will be starting to slacken off through the afternoon and evening. Uh, they're going to hit their peak overnight tonight. A gale warning actually goes into effect at 11 o'clock, uh, which is uh, just 27 minutes away. That'll last until 5 a.m. And then we lose the gale warning. Perhaps the National Weather Service could maintain a small craft advisory there uh, into uh, later tomorrow morning. We'll see if they put that up. Nonetheless, improvement with the waves as the winds do come down later tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Uh, temperatures right now, how about this? Upper 50s to around 60 degrees. And we're not going to drop off a whole lot in the overnight period. That'll be because of some brisk winds. Uh, you know, stepping outside in Grand Rapids right now, it's not uh, as breezy as it was earlier today. Uh, typically, when you get into an evening and nighttime period, you tend to lighten the winds unless you've got a storm system that is cranking them up. Well, there is a clipper off into northern um, sections, uh, I should say southern Ontario, but just north of Lake Superior, and that is creeping closer to us. It's going to end up increasing the wind field here just shortly after midnight. So the winds that you're looking at on that current are going to look more like this, I'm afraid by three, four, five in the morning. And that means we can gust well into the 20s, perhaps the lower 30s or so in some locations. And of course, when you take those winds and whip them across Lake Michigan, you start to crank up some waves. And uh, those waves, especially north of Grand Haven, can get to about uh, four to six, maybe even seven feet, I think closer to Muskegon and Oceana County for the overnight. But again, as talked about, those will come down later tomorrow. Upper level pattern is looking fairly warm right now. Tomorrow turns out very similar to today. We got the 67 on Tuesday, looking for about 67 and again tomorrow. Big pool of warm air, though, shoots in on Friday. That'll send us well into the 70s. And then what's interesting is that there's a new wrinkle in the maps here today is that a cold front, a backdoor cold front, comes in from Canada. It's not going to have a huge uh, impact on us over the weekend, but I think it does subtract a few degrees from what I was looking at yesterday. So more like the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. May actually surge one more time Monday into Tuesday next week ahead of a storm system. It'll bring our next chance for some showers. Behind it, it'll go cooler. I think by Wednesday, Thursday of next week, but overall the net result is pretty decent. I mean, we're well into the 60s to even well into the 70s. I think the peak warming will be on Friday there at 76 degrees. So get out there and enjoy it because you never know how much longer we've got with this before the real cool air comes and sticks around for good. There's that clipper going through Ontario. You go down southward into the Caribbean. This is Hurricane Delta and take a look at the track of this thing. It's going to get updated by the National Hurricane Center over the next 20 minutes. So I'll have that new track at 11 o'clock. Bottom line is a category four hurricane perhaps in the Gulf of Mexico this late in the season. Uh, bearing down on the Louisiana coastline likely will weaken a bit as it does come in later Friday. I'll talk more about that in the next weather segment segment, but we're looking good around here. 70s into the weekend. All right, Anthony, thanks. Students at the